We cannot allow people who execute children to live freely among us. Columbus detectives are still looking for answers one year after the deaths of six-year-old London Wall Neal, nine-year-old Demetrius Wall Neal, and 22-year-old Charles Wade. Why did two men fire a shower of bullets at a vehicle after seeing all three of them climb in? We thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jennifer Bullock. And I'm Jared Smalley. NBC4's Karina Chung spoke to police today about what they can share about this investigation one year later. Karina. Detective Terry Kelly says he needs someone with direct knowledge to come forward. He says he's gotten several tips over the last year, and a lot of them are credible theories, but not enough to find those involved in this horrific homicide. It's been one year since two children and a man were gunned down along Kodiak Drive. Gunfire erupting from all sides outside of the car the three were sitting in. No arrests and no suspects have been named in the deaths of children London Walneal, Demetrius Walneal, and 22-year-old Charles Wade. Those are monsters that live amongst us, and if they can do that to children, what can they do to you? Police saying they need help solving this case. They've gotten tips with credible theories, but no one has come forward with direct knowledge. All of that flashing you're seeing is the gunfire. Detective Terry Kelly shared another video from the shooting that night. This one further from the scene, but you can still see the gunfire lighting up the night sky. He needs information about suspects, the two people who fired the guns, the driver who was in a Nissan Altima leaving the scene, and the people who were in a Jeep Grand Cherokee that he says were watching the home. So we're looking at four to five at this point. Uh, I have no evidence backing up that number at this point other than the videos that we have, but I think we're looking at between four and five people. Kelly says other investigations are intertwined with this one, so he can't share too much information about where the case stands today. He was asked if he knew the whereabouts of the people who fired those fatal rounds. I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, when I lock down exactly who they are, then I'd be able to answer that. But at this point, uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Assistant Chief Lashana Potts says she's angry, angry that this happened in Columbus and they are still looking for answers. It will follow us, each one of us who were there to our graves. We will never forget what we saw. We will never forget the wills of that mother. Um, and so I implore the community, as we've done so many times before, they have to speak up. Detective Kelly says it was too painful for the family to come and speak today, but they wanted to okay. remind people that this did happen in our community. Now, Detective Kelly says he's still looking for in information and tips regarding this. He did share his cell phone number. We'll have that on our website along with the tip line number. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Karina Chung, NBC4.